Ever wondered why so many people seem instinctively against the idea of Toy Story 5? It's an interesting question, isn't it? The Toy Story saga has been an emotional roller coaster for many of us. Yet there's a common sentiment that stories, even exceptional ones, should eventually find their satisfying conclusion. Just like how Toy Story 3 wrapped up beautifully, leaving us teary-eyed and fulfilled. So, why the resistance to Toy Story 5? Let's delve into this intriguing topic and understand the reasons behind it. Toy Story, a franchise that has captivated hearts since its inception in 1995, has seen a series of evolutions. The first Toy Story movie was a revolution in the world of animation. It brought toys to life with a charm and warmth that resonated with both children and adults. The story of a cowboy doll named Woody and his rivalry with the new Space Ranger toy, Buzz Lightyear, was an instant hit. The audience was drawn into the world of Andy's room where toys had feelings, friendships, and fears. As we moved into the new millennium, Toy Story 2 graced our screens. The sequel introduced us to new characters like Jesse and Bullseye, enhancing the universe of Toy Story. It dove deeper into the emotional world of toys, exploring themes of abandonment and the fear of being forgotten. This movie wasn't just a continuation, it was a growth, an evolution that further endeared the franchise to fans worldwide. Then came Toy Story 3, arguably the most emotional installment of the series. The narrative was filled with heart-wrenching moments of love, sacrifice, and the inevitable transition from childhood to adulthood. Andy, the beloved owner of our toy heroes, was all grown up and heading off to college. The toys were donated to a daycare, a move that felt like a natural progression in their journey. The tearful farewell between Andy and his toys, especially Woody, was a poignant moment that left the audience misty-eyed. Fast forward to 2019 and Toy Story 4 arrived. The narrative took a different turn, focusing on Woody's personal journey of self-discovery and his quest for purpose beyond being a child's toy. Some fans loved it, some didn't. It was a bittersweet symphony of nostalgia and change, wrapping up with Woody bidding farewell to his toy family and choosing a life of freedom with Bo Peep. The end of Toy Story 3 felt like a perfect conclusion, didn't it? The characters had their happily ever after, or did they? The announcement of Toy Story 5 churned up a whirlpool of mixed emotions. After all, we've journeyed with Woody, Buzz, and their eclectic gang of toy companions for over three decades now. But why has the buzz around Toy Story 5 been so, well, controversial? Let's rewind a bit. Toy Story 3, released in 2010, provided a fitting and emotional conclusion to a beloved saga. Our main character, Andy, had grown up and was heading off to college. In a heart-wrenching twist, he handed off his cherished childhood toys to a new owner, Bonnie. It was a beautiful metaphor for the passage of time, the inevitability of change, and the enduring magic of childhood memories. So, when Toy Story 4 was announced, some fans were skeptical, yet hopeful. However, Toy Story 5? That's where the line seems to have been drawn. There's a sense among fans that the story has already been told, the curtain has fallen, and the characters have had their happily ever after. There's a fear that extending the story further might disrupt the perfect ending that Toy Story 3 provided. There's an apprehension that it could dilute the magic of the franchise, turning an epic saga into a never-ending serial. In essence, the controversy around Toy Story 5 stems from a love for the franchise, a respect for its storytelling, and a desire to preserve the integrity of its narrative. Indeed, there is a certain charm in stories that conclude in a satisfying manner, isn't it? So, we've traveled through the journey of Toy Story, discussed the audience's reactions, and pondered upon the controversy surrounding Toy Story 5. We've seen how Toy Story evolved from a pioneering animation film to a beloved saga that has spanned decades, resonating with both children and adults alike. We've also dived into the apprehensions of fans who fear that a fifth installment might disrupt the satisfying conclusion that Toy Story 3 provided. It's a shared sentiment that stories, even exceptional ones, should be allowed to conclude in a gratifying manner. And it's this fear of tainting a well-rounded story that fuels the controversy. Yet we must remember that the magic of Toy Story lies not just in its conclusion, but in the journey of its characters, their growth, and their adventures. In the end, whether Toy Story 5 will live up to its legacy or disrupt the perfect ending, only time will tell. What are your thoughts on it? 